Hey headphone people, Mr. Eric here. Got a um, a pretty nice amplifier review for you today. Now, um, if you saw my bottle head crack review, you knew I was a pretty big fan of that. Uh, I was really enjoying that amplifier, so it made me want to dive in and explore some more tube options. So enter the uh, Hagerman tuba amplifier i read a lot of good things uh, i kind of reached out on some forums and stuff and asked what other tube amps i should try and this was one that kept popping up so i wanted to give it a shot the pri proprietor of hagerman audio he sent this over to me for review um really cool of him to do that and uh, I'm gonna share kind of my experience with you. Just so you know, this is going back to him, so I didn't get it for free or anything like that. Um, and he didn't try to influence my review in any way, shape, or form. So let's uh, dig in and, and see kind of what this thing is about. Um, so here's, you know, the form factor. Uh, you got my iPad mini here for comparison. It's a good hefty amplifier, right? It's heavy, it feels sturdy. Um, it's a pretty utilitarian build, you know, kind of just like a gray case. It's pretty simple, not a lot to it, honestly, um, which is fine. I, I think, you know, no, no worries in that regard. I, I, the looks kind of grew on me after a while too. Um, you know, as far as uh, tubes, you got a pair of EL84 molars that come with it. And then what is uh, interesting about this is you've got two quarter inch headphone jacks on the front that straddle the volume knob here. And this one is for low impedance headphones and this one is for high impedance headphones. The volume knob, um, you know, feels fine. And you click it in to turn the amp on and off. Around the back, very simple. You just got a couple of RCAs in and then the uh, the power that goes in right there and the power cable just so you know is just a little brick like this um, comes with different adapters and stuff so wherever you live it should be fine you know about maybe like a four foot cable coming off of the the brick there so pretty simple utilitarian build um, no worries there I didn't have any issues with it functioning or anything like that so let's dive right into the sound of this thing. Well, like I said, I was really enjoying the bottlehead crack. So I was most interested to compare the tuba to the bottlehead crack. And while the bottlehead crack is a very like exciting, energetic, like kind of like over the top um, amplifier, I would say, which can be super, super fun to listen to. The tuba is a much more controlled, precise, um, just, just a very, this control is, is the word that comes to my mind when I'm thinking about the sound of the tuba. I actually thought like the bass on the tuba was better controlled than it is on the, uh, Bioelectric B280 that I have on hand right now. And, um, that really impressed me. That really impressed me. So the level of control and detail that it, um, exhibits over, you know, the bass on things like I was using my uh, Alex on it quite a bit. I use my HE1000 on it quite a bit. LCD5. Um, I even put the Susvara on it a little bit and I thought it did okay with that. Granted, this thing doesn't have a ton of power. Um, the spec on the website is 350 milliwatts at 32 ohms, but um, I'm not sure, you know, the high impedance set. I don't, I don't know what it would be, um, you know, for higher loads, but I didn't feel like it really struggled. Um, I wouldn't say it's an ideal match for something like this thus far, but everything else, you know, was, was pretty decent with it. I thought that mids were, you know, were pretty well um, tempered and controlled. I didn't feel like they sounded off. I thought the timbre was good. Um, the one thing I would say is like maybe in the upper uh, middle frequencies, I wish there was just like a little more energy there. I did feel like it was just slightly pulled back uh, in that regard. And uh, so when I would switch back to like my V280 here um, as I was listening and it, um, I felt the V280 was just kind of a more exciting, had a little more bite, a little more, 
you know, grip on the top end there that uh, are on the upper middle frequencies that just drew me in a little bit more. Um, where the tuba was just a little more subdued and relaxed in that area, which sometimes could be a good thing. And sometimes I was, you know, wishing I had a little bit more to it. Uh, on the high end of things, again, just control, control, control. I thought it was pristine on the top end. Honestly, super well extended and detailed. Um, I, I just, I couldn't really pick a fault out with it when it comes to like the, the high end of the treble stuff. I thought it sounded, again, just very clean and very well controlled. So all in all, I think this amp just, it, it kind of surprised me because I was expecting something to be a little bit closer to the, the crack, but no, it's it's not. It's kind of like the opposite of the bottlehead crack, to be perfectly honest with you, in that it is a much more refined, much more controlled sound, and it works um, with, I would say, a wider range of headphones than the crack does. Uh, for spatial cues and, and imaging and separation, I thought the tuba was quite competent and all that stuff. I, I think um, all in all, it is just a really good amplifier all around. And uh, yeah, I, I, I compared lots of stuff going back and forth from the crack and the tuba. And I think just about everything I tried, I preferred on the tuba just because it was, it was cleaner and more refined. Um, and then going, I was just really shocked and surprised at how close it was um, with resolution capabilities and detail as the V280 because in most areas it was quite close it sounds definitely closer to the Vioelectric v280 than it does to the bottlehead crack and i think that's pretty high praise for a tube amp that's priced you know around seven to eight hundred dollars um and i think you know if you consider that a bottlehead crack is probably going to be around like five or six hundred dollars once you get the kit built and everything like that um i think that makes the tuba price just about right I would say um, as far as that goes so I'm I'm a fan I really like this amplifier I think if you're looking for a tube amp and you want something that has the versatility to drive both low and high impedance headphones because again that's you can switch over so I was driving everything from like the Alex and the HE1000 like I said to um, 600 ohm Bayer Dynamics both the DT880 and 990 which I both thought sounded better on this than they did on the bottlehead crack um, so I think it's a winner um, I wouldn't if you're looking for uh, a more refined tube amplifier and you're looking in this price range I think the tuba should absolutely be on your list I um, I was just really impressed with it all around. So great amplifier. And Jim, the proprietor, seems like a pretty awesome dude. Uh, I will link to his website down below so you can go check it out if you want to get some more information or possibly purchase one of these for yourselves. Thanks to him for sending it out and thanks for you for uh, staying to the end of the review. Like it, subscribe, leave some comments down below if you got an opinion one way or the other on this. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one.